हाय अभिरूप हाय श्री आई जस्ट वॉच द फिल्म एंड आई थिंक आई गोइंग टू यूज अ वेरी कमर्शियलाइज वर्ड टू डिस्क्राइब गट्स and the very first thing that came in my mind was manto's short story khol do i don't know what to ask i think i will ask you uh, you know both of you how did this happen and how you decided to make this film tell this story uh, because communal violence is a reality of our country it's not just about one state or you know parts of our country but i think we are i think we are living in times of chaos for a long time I mean, now even now, if you see what's happening in Bangladesh, what's happening in the Middle East, Palestine, what's happening in London, it's I think we are crowded with chaos uh, for a long time, and we've been dealing with that. And I was going through a phase where I wanted to say something about this chaos, and about that time is when I, you know, very serendipitously, uh, came with this. Um, I read it somewhere. It came in an article how these three women. survive the riots using the technique that we show in the film and that that happened in reality that cinema that's something uh, uh, i mean the void i was trying to fill i had something to say so that that kind of wanted me to delve into this uh, riots but at the same time i didn't want to make a film which had to do with the communal disharmony because there has been films which has been made with the hindu muslim angle i wanted to still go for it uh do a bit of research and see what else is there and that is when uh, uh, i came across as i further delve into the research of this is when i came to know this very startling kind of a uh, information is there were more than 100 200 the numbers of course vary according to sources uh, almost 200 plus hindu women were raped and mutilated this also i wasn't aware about and somewhere while going through this piece of information this line came from somewhere that women are just flesh they don't have any religion and that became the lens through which i wanted to tell the story uh, which was based on true incidents but this gave me the lens to approach the story from that angle as a director or something that i wanted to say about the rights because there has been films as i said which has dealt with the other aspects of it i thought this the way those three women survived for two days three days three nights and i thought that was something which reminded me of innovation less list and i thought this is something that we could we could share with the bigger audience it needs this story needs to be told so i i think this culmination of two these two three things made me write gudgudi and uh, today we have been able to make the film so i think that was most really the story so i will ask you rajshri as an actor you know uh, it needs i mean the way times have changed uh, the kind of stories we want to tell and the kind of stories we can't tell or we need to you know maneuver through a lot of things to tell certain stories and uh, as an actor how easy or difficult it was first to go through the script and then you know performing it for camera so first thing i have approached this script uh, the story as in a very woman's perspective i feel that uh the world has become a battleground now you know and uh, we all are some other way surviving in this world imagine you know even a hospital is also not safe for a doctor a, like a college in a hospital where a medical doctor in kolkata you know uh, has to go through a, such a violent thing so you know it's not just even a natural calamity the disasters there also people are not safe women especially you know go through tons of things in those areas too so what he created that battleground is the battleground which is actually happening everywhere you know be it from the nirbhaya cases to be it uh, you know in the village and be it in a home where uh, you know things are hidden and we think that everything is perfect you know it's not like that even a woman in a household uh, be it she is a daughter or a wife or a uh, you know a part of a family she is also not safe so uh, that's how i i felt that you know how what kind of a situation we have come up in in to, uh, uh, over here is where a mother had to tell her daughter that be numb 
because being numb is going to give you life. I think it's the worst thing what a mother has to tell a daughter, a woman has to tell another woman, you know, that uh, survive. Uh, like to survive, to be alive, uh, you just don't do anything. And that's exactly if you just translate into it that, you know, a mother telling her daughter uh, that, you know, if whatever happens in your household, don't tell anyone because, you know, uh, the world is looking at you. We have to be in the society, you know. Uh, so there are so many incidences you can actually relate to a space like this. And the film is about that. It's about, you know, like whatever happens with you, just be numb. And when she gets to know what actually then she herself is thinking that what in the world I'm like, what is this? What's the point of actually living? What's the point of, you know, where I'm, where the time has come that I have to tell my daughter something like this. And um, yeah, so I've just approached it in that way that I may be a person who's fighter, but there are so many people, so many women, men, uh, you know, community people are not able to open up about what is actually happening. So, uh, you know, Gudgudi is maybe people think that it's a very, you know, joyful word or funny word, but it says so much about that, that, you know, what is actually, it's not just about touch, it's about, you know, um, piercing into someone's, uh, you know, soul in a very different way. That's how, uh, you know, I feel. And I, I'm glad you gave a reference of Koldo because that is when I read this, uh, this Koldo, I was shattered. And uh, in a similar way, when I was doing, uh, you know, when I, we were shooting and um, I, I won't reveal about the situation, but you know, I was there uh, when uh, Abhirup was the camera managing and everything was happening. I was, I was actually thinking about that. The exact same uh, story of Manto. And uh, I was thinking that what must have gone through? What must be going through people's mind where, who's dealing with something like this? So, uh, yeah. So the next, next question I'm going to ask, I mean, you can decide not to answer, but... Uh... A lot of propaganda films we know that they are i mean if i want watch a cinema whether it's from this side or this side i don't want to get out of the cinema hall and hate someone you know what i mean um in the bheed, ye jo bheed hai, jo jama hai, propaganda films ki, is bheed mein ek aisi film jo aapko sochne ko majboor kar degi, that are you a good human are you doing something good to the society? If you're not doing anything for people, are you just being nice in general? Nice is a very cheat word, I say. Are you really a good human being? Um, so, a film, you know, that, that leads you to that question. How do you think we'll reach to people, especially when there is this crowd of all Dhol Nagara and propaganda films? How easy or difficult it is? I think this reminds me of something. Um, there's a lovely line uh, which Leonard Cohen once wrote. And it's, it says that there's a crack in everything and that's how the light gets in. And I think that 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 kind of sums it up. I mean, there if, if you go back to World War II as well, some of the finest films have been made in when the world was in the most severe crisis, when the world faced chaos, destruction in every way. One of the finest films have been made during that period. And uh, in terms of propaganda, films, what you said, if you ask me as a filmmaker, to be very honest, I don't mind you making propaganda films as long as they're well-made. In the sense that as a filmmaker, I would love to, in those two, three hours or 25 minutes, I would love to believe what you are doing there. Uh, I don't mind watching a Zero Dark Thirty because that's a very well-crafted film. But I mind watching some of the other films which have come across as propaganda films. As a filmmaker, if you ask me, I love films leaving me a question than telling me this is black and this is white. Which we tried to avoid in a film like Good Goody, where I, I never told you this is black, this is white. And I, and I feel most films we should remember over the years because I don't know what is great cinema, but I think it has to do something with time. That 20 years later, you, you go back to a film and it still makes sense and it's still relevant to you. And if we really go back to that idea of what is good cinema, what is cinema, what is any kind of art in that sense, which stays, it has to it has to stand the test of time. So for me, this 
these are the small gaps in time where you have a splurt of these films we call them propaganda films it has happened over history all over the world in this in this purges of time but then in the end 20 30 years down the line we always go back to those films like a shindler's list that i mentioned you mentioned kholdo manto 50 60 70 years down the line manto even makes more relevant is more relevant now than maybe it was when when uh, he was writing the stories so i feel this propaganda films will be out there and i don't very honest as long as someone is making them honestly although they are not made honestly but as long as craft is considered as something which it comes from that purity and honesty i don't mind watching a propaganda film but that doesn't ha- that is not happening mostly in indian cinema america has been able to done that do that for a long time they have made propaganda films and well uh, i come from that house of th- school of thought that as long as the film is made well and i believe you in those two hours and it makes it leaves me with a question it doesn't tell me what is black and white you are allowed to make a film in your way that is something i believe what is your take on this rajri as an actor as an actor you know i ne- definitely would like to understand the subject because uh apart from everything you know i'm just not an actor i'm a you know social worker and and a human being and a citizen of this place uh you know so i have to be responsible what i'm telling why i'm doing this and uh, you know need to understand uh, you know we cannot say that we are not political we all are political you know and we need to understand actually what's happening in the world and the society and uh, being a creative person also that you have to even understand that you know what what way the person is telling the story you know as uh, abhirup mentioned that the craft wise but apart from craft uh, uh, you know like nicely be- better shot or whatever it is how it's written why it's written you know propaganda means what you are purposely doing something to demean someone else you know um uh, for me that is something which is absolutely no no because you can't just put someone a category uh, uh you know center and then say that okay b c d e f h is best you know and then a is like uh, you know uh, uh, not the best ones or they are the you know the culprit or whatever it is i think you know i don't buy something like that i would like to understand what is actually happening and you can't put caste creed uh, you know into a film you know in this way can we all are telling a human story we all are telling what is actually happening but not putting someone demeaning someone and putting someone else up you know then that is something i i feel that you know okay i think i would like to not be part of it let them make it that's their faith their their money and you know they have their crowd and everything but i think i don't like to be part of something like this and i believe the film is going to festivals and um, i'm wish i'm certain that it's going to you know receive great accolades what are your expectations from the film that's my last question to both of you to be very honest i would want the film to be watched in the capacity that it ca- a short film can be watched in the best way possible because we both know that we can't release a film like this on a theater our country irrespective of how it is doesn't allow a short film to be which is also very really a short film thing because i've seen in theaters in prague and in europe where people are lined up at 9 9 am to watch short films and the theater of 700 800 people is full so we we are not there but at the same time uh, making this film the effort was to raise a question to leave with you a question i didn't want to give you a solution i don't think film can change us i don't believe that watching a cinema can change you as a person what it does or what it can do is it can leave you a question something that that appeals to your inner self something that shows you the mirror my job as a filmmaker or i think as any artist is let the painter paint and let that be out there so all i would expect from this film is let the film be out there in some capacity where people if anyone wants to go and watch they can go and watch the film and one of the reasons why at that point i thought this film should be made because our history is being manipulated and fabricated every day it's being changed it's being rewritten so maybe 20 years down the line maybe 2002 riots never happened so we would want to keep 
I I want this film to serve as a time chronicle that see this happened, and I want this to be a warning and a reminder. That's all. That's all I want this film to serve. The purpose. No, I think uh, what Abhirup said it uh, so rightly that you know what's the reason of making films, and it's you know um, you know a lot of times people say that Rajshri, why do you why do you work in such serious films? You know. Like be it trial by fire, or be it uh, you know now this one also. Um, I feel it's like you know as he said, it's an important stories and stories has to be put it across. We are not you know like I understand entertainment has a space, but we have we want to leave with questions. We want people to know that you know uh, that there are tons of women lived life like this. And they're still living living a life like this, you know. And as you mentioned, of course, uh, it's not just the riots everywhere, you know. I just want to make it very clear that everywhere, you know, they're living life like this. Yeah, so history, uh, uh, it's, it's unfortunate, uh, uh, you know, but it's unfortunately repeating also. We just need to remind people that, you know, because of, I don't know what, the greed, because of your internal issues and politics and all uh, people, the innocent people have suffered. And uh, I think, uh, you know, that's the reason uh, every film is important, be it an entertainment one or be it whatever it is. But, uh, you know, the messages has to be conveyed to people. The society has to be aware of uh, and empower about these things. So that's why we work in the films. Yes, and we should tell stories that, you know, tell stories, yeah. serves a purpose. It was lovely talking to both of you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.